three, four hours, the fever would spike and it was just higher and higher and higher. A health alert tonight as doctors in Metro Detroit see a sudden increase of kids in the emergency room. Now the children are sick with a virus triggering dangerously high fevers that are tough to break. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell tells us what you need to know about this illness to protect your family. Doctors want to warn parents about the symptoms they shouldn't ignore if their kids catch what's called an adenovirus. It's a virus we at 7 Action News learned is going around Metro Detroit right now when WXYZ.com producer Scott Anderson's son got sick. Normally, 20-month-old Ryan Anderson is a ball of energy. So when suddenly he stopped eating and playing, his dad knew something wasn't right. The fever just brought him to a stop. And it's the only thing I've ever seen do it. Mom and dad gave him Tylenol and kept an eye on him. But quickly, his temperature went up and up. Every four hours, the that fever would spike and it was just higher and higher and higher. When little Ryan's fever reached the danger zone of 103 degrees, his parents rushed him to the emergency room. At that point, you're worrying, is this going to lead to anything more serious? Doctors said for Ryan, it led to severe dehydration. They gave him IV fluids, lowering his temperature, and sent him home. They told mom and dad, give him Tylenol and Motrin for his fever, use cold compresses, and wait it out, hoping the temperature doesn't get into the danger zone. However, two more times over the following days, it did just that. Mom and dad rushed him again to the emergency room. The main characteristic of it is that recurring high fever, and scary high fever. The time to talk to your doctor about it is that if you have fevers that are not going away, if your child is dehydrated, if it's, you know, if, if your child is less than three months of age, you want to make sure you have them see the doctor. Action News Chief Health Editor Dr. Partha Nandi says adenoviruses infect the membranes of the respiratory tract, digestive system, and eyes. They can lead to pneumonia, pink eye, cold or stomach flu-like symptoms. It's common to see outbreaks in the summer, perhaps because of how it spread. If a child touches a surface, you can get it. You can get it from swimming pools and, and, and even you know, around lakes. So it, it can, it can really uh, spread pretty quickly if you don't uh, put a stop to it. That means keeping your little one away from other kids. As for Ryan, more than a week after he got sick, he is slowly feeling better. It looks like he's back. Uh, he's still a little warm, but uh, I'll take a little warm over 106 degree fever any day. For parents like Scott, the tough thing about the adenovirus is there's no medicine that fights it. Antibiotics won't help. Doctors and parents simply have to treat the symptoms and wait for the body to fight it. Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Well, you got to thank goodness that Scott's baby was yeah. fine, and Scott works right here at Channel 7. Ms. Kerr, you get to the doctor fast. It's the best thing you can do. Uh, absolutely. Well, seven